My name is Carrie Ann Swan and my title at Delroy's Aboriginal Community Liaison Officer, trying to make links between the community, the school and the parents. So the Aboriginal Girls Circle is to give young girls a voice and to make them aware that they can make decisions. School teachers how to read and write, but circles gives confidence, makes them feel that they can dream and it's good to have goals and people are there to help them reach those goals teaches them who they want to be and how they want their environment to be and it's up to them and they have choices to make and they can make good ones if they want to. The girls get to voice their own opinion in a safe environment. It's very equal, everyone gets a turn, nobody's left out and getting back to old Aboriginal traditions that's how things were done back then in a circle. I value the topics that girls bring up it's really important because they are issues that we have in our community and it's good to see the girls want to change that for the future and for their kids to come. It's amazing watching them grow and change into young women to know we've been a part of their life and we can help them make a difference. It's made a massive difference to me personally as a mother, as a sister, as a daughter. I've learnt more patience and I've learnt how to make that connection with others. This has given me the confidence and courage to be able to become a person I want to be. My name is Pat Doolan. I'm an elder of the Wiradjuri people in Dubbo and um, I'm very much involved in what happens within this community. Initially, like everything, you're scared and you're thinking, I wonder where this is going to go. But I've seen those girls grow from that first, the inception of the program, right through to now in senior college. And I'm so excited and so happy about where they're going. They're going to take over from me one day as a leader. So I'm excited about it because the program basically encourages them to think about respect but also to think about themselves and what their dreams are. How, how do they make those dreams become a reality? I don't see them every day, but I see them whenever I visit the schools or anything. And they're just glowing. They have this self-confidence. Respect is one of the main major components of the activities. And if you don't have that respect initially for yourself, how can you practice it? within a confine like this with X number of girls or in the school where you are. So that was one of the big ones for me, a must, and I've seen that happening. I would hope that they'd think beyond school and look at where they want to go in the future, if that's uni or whatever, into employment, then practice the things they've learned at Circle, including respect right at the top of the list and being mindful that we live in a society today that's multicultural. Yes, you can retain your own identity but respect somebody else's identity. Certainly I would encourage other communities, I think they should go with it, run with it. The elders need to be involved uh, two reasons, to observe protocol to start with and then to bring in the stuff that they can offer. And I think it's a learning tool for both, not only the students but the adults as well. My name's Catherine Birmingham and I am Deputy Principal at Dubbo College Delroy Campus. It's a group of girls who volunteer to be part of a circle philosophy to build resilience, develop communication skills, make friendships and to strengthen their identity in their own communities and families. They have three guidelines that they follow to make sure that everybody is equal, everyone has a fair say and they feel comfortable and safe and every activity starts in a circle setting. Their attendance rates have gone up. Their participation in classes has increased. Then there's the side of building relationships and being able to communicate better with staff and their own peers and their own parents and carers. And I think just the building of their own self-confidence. I think they needed to be aware that life can be good and what they might have experienced in a negative way doesn't always have to be the same for them and same for their children and their friends. To keep the circle solution philosophy happening, we need um, community support. This is one of the longest running programs for Indigenous students in Dubbo ever.
the program has been running for four years. Like the community knows about the Aboriginal Girls Circle. The elders know about the Girls Circle. It's also helped having Indigenous workers at our school. They have supported this program 100%. We have come a long, long way and it has been an excellent journey and we have done very, very well. We have made a lot of inroads and we've had a lot of successes throughout the four years. Girl Circle, a big part of it is helping your community and making it better and helping others. So it's really great for our community to have that, the young people making a difference. It's helped me become more confident and make new friends and make me believe that we can help our community in a very big way. Even if it's just the smallest little thing, it still helps. Everything matters and everything counts. I believe more in myself that I can do more things. It really does help to build confidence and build more on characters and like help people really with life skills. I would tell other communities that the AGC is a really great thing to have.